This is the core of freestyle as it combines front to sail control with a transition. Nail this and you have the fundamentals for many moves including carving 260s and spokes. Ideal conditions for practicing are constant wind and with a small to medium sail size. If you have never tried the helicopter tack before, it's a big advantage to get the feel of it in light winds on a floaty board. Carve hard and pull the board through head to wind. Front foot goes forward of the mast foot. Bring the rig forward and away from you on an extended front arm. Pull the backhand in and keep the sail away so as to maintain control. As the rig is rotating, keep looking forward. The clue passes through the eye of the wind as you simultaneously change foot position. Let the rig rotate as you look forward and wait the front foot to flatten the board. Bring the rig back forward and sail away. To sum up, get the board through head to wind. Rick goes forward and across you on an extended front arm. Steer the board to the new direction and swing the rig round the nose. Keep the sail away as you switch the feet. The rig rotates as your body moves forward. Finish off the sail rotation and maintain looking forward. Get into sweet stance and sheet the sail out slightly whilst bringing the rig across you. Carve upwind and throw the sail directly at the wind, mainly using the front arm. Cross your front hand over the back of the boom to pull the sail back aggressively. The sail flies over the water held up by the wind. the board carving through the wind as you throw the sail. Front foot pressure will give you a smooth carve with a flat board. Control the board in front to sail and pivot it through the wind. The rig will be back and away as your body moves forward. To sum up, go sweet stance. Carve towards the wind and dock the sail. Cross your front hand over to pull the sail back. Gain control in front to sail and bring the board through the wind to finish off. Take a wide grip on the boom and turn downwind. The more powered up you are, the more downwind you go. Switch your feet up to the mast foot. Sweep the sail back and keep it low as you look at the tail of the board. Push hard through the toes of the back foot. As the board comes through the wind, shift your weight to the front foot. Bring the rig forward and hold on tight with your clue hand. Use your feet to pivot the board through the wind. Get low to control the rig in its clue first position. Then flip the rig and sail away. To sum up, go downwind and switch the feet. Sweep the sail low and back whilst looking at the tail. Bring the rig and your weight forward as the nose goes through the wind. Dominate the rig whilst clue first. Flip and sail away.
Get into back to sail and lean out on extended arms to carve the board into the wind. Ensure the board is kept flat and carved smoothly. Come through head to wind, then helicopter tack the rig. Lean into the sail and keep looking forward as you swing the sail around. Take the board through head to wind. Shift your front foot to the nose and back foot up to the mast foot. Look back and sheet in. Push the nose of the board underwater and downwind. Keep your clue hand pulled in and step back down the board. Look forward and put your weight over the back foot to get the fin to engage. As the board starts moving, maintain your clue first control. Flip the rig and sail away. Begin as in a normal tack, then go into switch stance as you continue to carve. Bring the backhand all the way up to the mast, turn your head into the period and spin around. Grab the boom with your original front hand to finish off the period. Continue the tack and take the board through head to wind. Step round the mast and finish off as for a regular tack. Sail across the wind on a reach, and then turn upwind as if to tack. Just before head to wind, step round the mast and get backwinded. Get your hands down the boom and move the rig towards the nose, as you move your back foot back down the board. With an extended front arm and front leg, pivot the board round with lots of pressure on the back foot. This is like a backwind jive, so remember to look over your front shoulder. As you come through downwind and on the new course, bring the front arm in and open the sail. Move your body back and get low to control the power as you look forwards. In switch stance and fully planing, find a steep chop or wave. The takeoff is into the wind and similar to a back loop. To rotate, keep your weight over the tail of the board and look over your front shoulder. Come through the wind and aim to land tail first. The sail will be clue first with your feet in the regular straps and facing the opposite direction. Control the rig and sail away.
The body drag is an eye-catching move and can be thought of as a planing water start. It can be combined with other moves once you got it. Best learning conditions for the body drag is flat water or down ocean swells and waves, with sail size preferably between 4.5 and 6. Spread your arms and head slightly upwind. Unhook and sink down. Keeping weight on the boom, placing your front leg in the water first and then the back leg. Hold the rig close to your body. Drag from your shins. Your body goes to the side as you press down through the front arm to bear away. Pull on the backhand to bring your rig upright and draw up your legs. Bring your back leg up first and move your head towards the mast foot as in a water start. Typically one foot lands between the straps, the other in front of the straps. To sum up, head slightly upwind. Unhook and hang. Front leg in first and then drag on the shins. Bear away as you drag. Keep the boom in close. Sheet in to pull you back on like in a water start. This is an excellent progression of the jive, calling upon carving and tacking skills. It will develop your carving commitment. Best conditions for learning the carving 260 is flat water and with a sail size between 4.5 and 6. Entry is as for a jive. In this move, the backhand is down the boom. Carve downwind and drop right into it. Pull the rig down and to the inside on an extended front arm. As you carve harder towards dead downwind, look back at the top of the mast. Keep carving hard, holding the rig back and down. As you lose speed, step out the front strap to flatten the board and control the rig in backwinded mode. Look forward and scissor the board through head to wind using your feet. On your original tack, drop down and power up the sail. Keep looking forward and again scissor with your feet to take the board to a beam reach. To sum up, carve downwind fully committed. Towards dead downwind, look at the top of the mast and carve hard. Hold until you lose speed and step out the front strap. Control in backwinded mode and scissor the board through the wind. Drop down and power up the sail. On a reach, go around the mast and get into front to back winded. Whilst back winded, keep your front arm extended and lean on the sail to control the power. Make sure your feet are spread and on the center line. Look forwards to keep speed. Swing the rig round as you would do in a helicopter tack and simultaneously change foot position. Keep looking forwards as you flip the rig and bring it back upright. Recap, get into backwinded on a reach. Keep the rig away on an extended front arm and lean on the sail. Swing the sail round and switch the feet.
Go downwind and come out the straps. Take a step forward of the mast. Slide the backhand down the boom. Push out with the backhand and follow the rig round. Use your head to lead the move. Switch your feet quickly around the mast, just as an attack. The clue passes through the wind as you move back down the board. Bring the rig upright by bending the front arm and sheeting out. Get low to gain control. Recap. Perform the body and sail to 60 on a downwind course. Push out with the backhand and follow the rig round with quick steps. Bring the rig upright to finish off. Sail downwind and get into a wide stance out the straps. Cross your hands over to enable you to dock the sail. Pull the sail back past your head and grab the boom on the new side. Cross the hands and dock the sail. Control the sail in clue first and then flip the sail as in a jive. Look forwards to keep speed. Remember to slide your mast hand up to make it smooth. Keep looking forwards throughout the move. Dock the sail and take a wide grip as you carve hard like in a 360. Keep the sail down and look back. As you lose speed, step out the front strap. The move is finished off as a push tag. Remain looking back as you pivot the board through the wind. The sail comes up as you look forward. Control and then flip the rig. Step in front of the mast on a reach and then step back down the board into back to back winded. Keep the rig back. Keep your feet on the center line. Lean into the sail with it tilted to windward. The backhand swings the sail forward as the rig rolls around the front hand. Keep leaning into it and look forwards. Using a little wave is easier to maintain speed. Initiate the move across the wind. Lower yourself in gently and keep the sail upright as you drag out to the side. Your head stays close to the boom. Sunshine. Pull in with the backhand to keep power and bear your way. Move your head towards the mast foot and power up to return to the board. Back leg on first. Both hands on the boom and back to speed.
The Flaka is a 360 sliding trick, which is finished off like an upwind 360 after popping the board from a downwind position. Get a wide grip on the boom. We are off the wind, almost onto a run. Start cheating the sail out and bringing it across your body. Pop the board out the water, extending the rig forward on a straight front arm and kick the tail downwind. The nose must catch first, causing the board to rotate with your weight focused forward and towards the heel side. As the board rotates, keep the front arm straight and backhand pulled in with the sail held forward and to windward. Really look over your front shoulder and keep your weight forward to get the slide. You're now controlling the rig backwinded, so it's front arm extended and back arm in. Finish off the move like an upwind 260. Push the clue through the wind and open the sail on extended arms. Drop your body to control the power and weight the heel side. To sum up, go downwind and pop the board. Throw the tail downwind and guide the rig towards the nose with a straight front arm. Finish off as an upwind 360. Get a wide grip on the boom. We are off the wind and pop the board. Drop the front hand and really extend the rig forward while throwing the tail downwind. The nose catches first as you keep the back hand pulled in. Your weight is forward and you really look over your front shoulder. Lean your sail towards the nose and away from you. Keeping weight forward will get the slide. Finish off the move like an upwind 360. Push the clue through the wind and open the sail on extended arm. Drop your body to control the power and weight the heel side. Enter as for a flaca. Go downwind and pop the board. Open the sail and bring it across you as you throw the tail downwind. The nose catches and the rig is away from you on an extended front arm with the backhand pulled in. Quickly slide the sail towards the nose in order to flip the rig like a heli tech. Keep looking forward as you take the power on switch foot with your weight forward and then change your feet like the Vulcan exit. Start as in a normal flacker. After you land and the nose starts sliding downwind, then dock the sail and hold it extended away from you. Just before the board completes the rotation, pull the sail across you and regain control clue first. The version shown here is more technical as you dock the sail and change sides in the air. You're also sliding backwards at the same time. The rig is flipped as you continue sliding.
answers. The duck jive is usually one of the first moves that new freestylers test their abilities with. It's one of the major stepping stones in freestyle and will really improve your calf jiving. Start trying duck jives when your success rate in calf jives is 50% or higher. The best sail size for learning is between 7 and 5 square meters and flat water. Using swell also works well as it helps to keep the speed up on the exit. Come with full speed into the dog jive and enter on a course slightly downwind. Get settled and then take the back foot out the strap. Sink down and slide your backhand down the boom. Aim to grab the boom with the new front hand just past the harness lines. The dog is performed quite early in the turn by your front hand crossing over the backhand and going to the back of the boom. Whilst doing this, the backhand tilts the rig towards the nose of the board. Keep looking forward and out of the turn. Concentrate on the dog as you whip the rig past your ear. It is important to lean your body and rig well into the turn in order to dock successfully under the sail. To fully regain control of the rig, you must keep carving when you reach the other side of the boom. Keep looking forwards and switch your feet into the new sailing position. Let's recap the major tips. Prepare and do the dock early. Whip the rig past your ear as you look out the turn. Keep carving while docking. Grab the boom on the new side and then switch your feet. Slow down by heading upwind and then slide your backhand right down the boom. Initiate the turn by moving the rig forward and slightly to the outside, whilst your body drops low and to the inside. The board is turned through a combination of back foot pressure and twisting of the rig. Lean and commit fully to the inside whilst looking out the turn. When you are in the new direction, switch your feet and step forward. Gain control over the rig whilst clue first. In light winds, throw the rig upright earlier or remain low for controlling the rig in stronger winds. Keep looking forward as you flip the sail and you're ready to go. It is best to practice the slam jive at first in light winds to get the feel of the move with less power and speed. As you improve, you'll be able to do it more powered up and will be really able to whip it around. Let's sum it up. Hit upwind to decrease the speed. Get that backhand right down the boom. The rig goes forward and to the outside, whilst you are low and to the inside. Switch the feet and gain control in clue first. When the sound of your voice turns to sparkling noise in my ears, so what does it mean? Yes, it means unconditional love. Set up as for a normal jive. 
When the nose is dead downwind, step your front foot out the strap and then begin the 360 sail rotation. The sail is held to the inside of the turn. Pull the sail through the wind primarily using the backhand. Look at the clue to assist pulling the sail round. End the quick footwork with the heels on the new rail in order to continue carving on the new tack. Focus on making the sail rotation smooth and determined. And what does it mean if I'm here and you're Let's go through the main points again. Carve to dead downwind and bring your front foot out the strap. Pull the sail through the wind using the backhand. Finish with your weight on the new carving rail. So what does it mean? I guess it means unconditional love. You you light up my life from when I'm on. Man, I'm on. You light up my life. When you get on a new direction where you would normally flip the sail in a jive, instead begin to follow the sail around with quick steps. The steps around the mast track are the same as in attack. Focus on fast feet. Make sure to step on the middle of the board. Keep the rig away while looking where you want to go. The 360 with the sail should be completed as fast as possible to avoid the board sinking. Aim to keep the board carving towards its new direction and then continue the rig flip whilst looking forwards. If you know how to duck jibe, this variation is actually no harder than a normal monkey jibe. Begin the rig handling earlier than in the monkey jibe. You will have ducked the sail by dead downwind. Now do a sail 360, making quick steps around the mast. Your head will lead the move. Step back down the board and weight the heels. Open the sail to finish. On a broad reach, step forward into front to back winded. Get both feet around the mast using the same technique as in attack. Look over your front shoulder and step back down the board. Finish the turn off carving through the heels. Your front foot will be behind the mast track and the back foot between the straps. As you carve the board onto the new course, straighten your arms and open the sail. To sum up, get into front to back winded as you go downwind. Step back down the board and continue carving off the heel side. Open the sail to finish. Start carving and on a broad reach, move into sweet stance. When directly downwind, dock the sail, pulling the rig back hard. Focus your weight over the back foot and look out the turn to keep the board carving.
Your new front hand grabs the boom right up by the mast. Extend the arms and open the sail to finish off the turn. Another version is doing the same docking action, but with the feet in the straps. This way you'll get more grip carving out the jive. And if you want to make it really hard for yourself, you can also come in back to sail. Hold the rig clue first as you come out the jive. Bring the front foot up just behind the mast track with the knees pointing into the turn. Slide your front hand all the way up to the mast. Look for the new side of the boom and reach around with your old backhand. At the same time switch your feet. Focus on having the feet and hands in the right position before beginning the pirouette. As you are then halfway round, the head leads the pirouette. This is the jump that everybody wants. It's relatively simple and easy, but it does require full commitment. Let's get ready to rotate. Sink down and move both hands back. Your backhand should be right down the boom. Take off on a round ramp going slightly downwind. Jump the board and begin extending your front arm towards the nose of the board to get the rig away. Start to pull up with the back leg. Get the rig forward and across you. Let's go! Look back and pull in hard with the back arm. The back leg is really pulling now. Tuck your back foot right into your bottom. Throw your body forward while staying committed and compact. Front arm really extending and keep looking back. Keep tucked up and then go for a tail first landing. Push the rig away on extended arms to bring the rig upright and open as you stay down low. Let's sum up. Get low and ready to jump with the backhand right back. Jump and take off downwind. Extend front arm towards the nose. Look back and pull in hard with back arm and leg. 
stay tucked and keep looking back. Land and throw the rig upright and open. Choose a steep wave that will send you straight up and take a lot of speed into the jump. Go for a vertical takeoff and keep your weight over the tail. Hit slightly into the wind and pull the boom in close to your body. Start looking over your front shoulder as you approach the apex. Spot your landing by continuing to look over your shoulder. This brings the kit round and through the wind. As you're coming down, bring the rig forward and body back so as to drop the nose. Land nose first and pointing well downwind. Open the sail and weight the heels whilst looking forward to bring you back across the wind. Sum up. Choose a steep ram and keep your weight back over the tail as you take off. Bring your boom in close and turn into the wind. Look over your front shoulder to rotate. Bend your back leg to get a downwind and nose first landing. Open the sail and weight the heels to get back to a reach. Take off across the wind on a steep wave that will give you a vertical jump. Move your body under the boom and have your hands close together to open the sail. Tuck your front shoulder into the boom and kick your back leg around the mast. Start to bring the board down and under as you begin to drop or a little after. Get your back foot underneath you, ready for a tail first land. Take off hooked in. Tuck up with your legs and bring the rig in close. Let go with the front arm and drop your hips to commit to the harness. Look down to spot your landing and place the arm back on the boom just before landing. Go for a tail first touchdown. The takeoff in a push loop is more aggressive than in the back loop. Having forward speed helps the rotation. As you leave the water, keep your weight back and go for a vertical jump, turning slightly into the wind. Throw your head straight back and look at the top of the mast just before you reach the apex. At the same time, pull the front arm in and extend your back arm. Aim to throw your legs over your head. Now with the sail under you, look down at your landing spot and as you drop, push slightly with the backhand to sheet out. When fully rotated, extend your arms. Touch down tail first. As you head towards the ramp, bring the sail back and sheet in. 
your body moves forward and out. Your weight shifts from your heel side to your toe side as you get in the air. Now bring the sail upright by sheeting out with the back arm and pushing the sail forward with a straight front arm. The sail now back wins. If you want more tweak, kick out hard with your back leg. Shift your body back under the boom as you come down and keep sheeting out. Prepare for a tail first landing. With full speed and both feet in the straps, carve the board fast downwind with the hands well spread on the boom. Just before dead downwind, open the sail up with the backhand and spring hard off the back foot. Really look over your back shoulder and aggressively pull the board up with the back foot. As you rotate, hang under the sail. When you return to your original course, sheet in with the backhand. Throw the rig upright and scissor the board to bear away. <laughs> 